Hello everyone and I welcome uh, all of you to another lecture of our string series and in this video we are going to look at uh, a medium uh, lead code problem called longest substring without repeating characters. So the question name itself defines like what the problem statement would be but still let's read it. So the problem statement goes like given a string s find the length of the longest substring without uh, repeating characters all right so this is what uh, we have to find all right now uh, let's uh, look at examples and analyze and i guess that will uh, that would help us uh, to get the answer correct okay so all right let's see So if I look at this problem, so what would be the uh, longest substring without the repeating characters? It would be ABC 3, right? It can be BCA also. It is also like three unique characters. CAB also, this ABC, but this cannot because there are two Bs, right? And we cannot have these four because A is there. So I guess you got the gist that what we have to do here. So let's look at example two. So only this would be the longest substring without repeating characters because all are the repeating characters here. All right. Let's look at this example. So we cannot have this one, right? We can have this one. We can have these three, right? WK. Not have these four because W is there. So answer is three. So this question is a little bit tricky. You so if we talk about the efficient solution, which would go in big of n time. So how to do that? So if you want, you may pause the video for two minutes and ponder over it. And um, I'll tell you the. Uh, answer or uh, the approach which we would be uh, seeing here okay hmm. let's erase our previous work okay now our string suppose is p w w k e W is that correct? All right, so that is correct. Now, how to solve this? So, what I am trying to say here is we can do two things here. All right, so like uh, the first thing is that let's find the length at every word at which like okay let me give you an example so you would understand it better suppose I come at K all right so I have to tell the largest substring length which would end at K okay without repeating characters so let's uh, analyze it analyze it with this example so p is 1 all right w is uh, 2 this is 1 all right and k is going to be wk2 wk3 is going to be 1 again Hmm. So now here, can you tell me what I did? Let's name it as G. So this is the length of the largest substring which would end with this letter P. Since there is no any letter, so P would be there only, so it is 1. The largest substring would be PW, so here it is 2. Since here we have one more W, so here our W is going to be only one right 
and here um, it is wk all right and at e it is wk e and at w it is again one all right so this is what uh, we have to solve all right hmm. so what can we do here is c if we encounter a new letter we'll increase j suppose here our w was one here we encountered a new letter so we increased j here we encountered a new letter so we increased j all right hmm. now um if we have the same letter then what are we going to do here uh, suppose here we have uh, this letter and this letter are same so what we did here is we subtracted uh, this index with this index its index was 2 its index was 1 so we got answer as 1 right now how we got 1 here is this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 All right. Uh, one more thing. This would not be one. This would be three because we would be having kw, right? So yeah, five minus two, three again. All right. So yeah, this is the case. All right. Now uh, you are thinking, yeah, uh, this is the correct uh, explanation. Okay, so we are going to write the exact same code which I told you, but there would be a submission error here. We would be looking at it like why it is there. I would try to explain it to you. It is a bit typical one, so just bear with me. All right. Also, I like uh, came uh, came with this approach, but that test that specific test case was failing, so I had to make uh, some modifications. But the basic code would be this only. All right. So now let's uh, write the code. All right. Let's have int as s dot length. Let me, yeah. All right. We'll have answer as zero. Two fifty six, our standard one. We have J as zero. Now for int i is equal to zero, i less than n i plus plus. If last index of S i that means we have encountered our uh, character for the first time so we'll just increase j right else j is going to be i minus last index of right this is what we thought and then this is going to be max of res comma j and now last index of s of i becomes i i now here we'll simply return res okay let's compile this code here we are getting the accepted output let's uh, for uh, see for all the examples again it's it accepted now let's try and submit this code hmm. yeah so here we have a wrong output this is what i was talking about it is abb here all right let me clear it a bit cool it's a b b 
So our J exactly is what? Here it is one. Here it is two. Right. Here it is again one. Yeah. And here it is supposed to be two. Am I right? All right. But what will I get instead of this? Zero, one, two, three. So instead of uh, two, I would be getting three here. All right. And that's why my output is wrong. So what, see, this would always happen. Like you come up with a code and it won't work. So what I uh, thought of here is let's make J as minimum of j plus one all right so it would become two or the same thing i minus last index of s of i all right and this would satisfy all my conditions so let's try and write this thing minimum of i minus last index of s of i or j plus 1 now let's try and sum out this code and we got a correct output so this question was a little bit tricky and another thing which I wanted you guys to understand is that you may come up with an approach and like your test cases would be passing but at some point there would be some uh, test cases so uh, you have to like basically modify a little bit of your code not write another full code alright like when I came up with the solution I came alright with the static part but when this uh, problem was occurring. I also thought like I should like look at a solution or something so I can get it but uh, I came up like this far on this question so why not uh, modify it a little bit so that's what I did here all right so yeah I guess uh, that was uh, all for this question and I guess uh, we have done like plenty of questions in our string series and we would be starting with another uh, topic from the next video onwards and but yeah also if you want like more questions on uh, string or any other data structures which uh, we completed uh, before so you may like uh, comment it in the comment section and uh, i'll surely bring one or, uh, one or two more questions on that topic specifically all right so thank you for watching and see you later